Okay, so this is going to be the spoiler-free review for so that people who haven't watched it yet can watch this and get a basic idea of what it is. First of all, the trailers kind of make it look like it's payback. It's not. It's very different. Though Mel does spend a lot of time scowling at the other characters. It's really more of a crime mystery kind of thing where you know, he has to find out exactly what went on with, you know, his daughter. And also on the trailers, they give away too much. So try, if you haven't already watched the trailer, try to not watch one before you see the movie. Or try not to think too much about what's in the trailer. It's, it's a very engaging film um, and pretty exciting. Um, there are a lot of like shocking moments with um, that you know that make you jump on, on the whole it's not like fast-paced film so it's when something happens it's it's jarring uh, in a good way I don't personally think that it's particularly funny I, I when I watched it in the theater which by the way really was there, there weren't a lot of people there, in spite of the fact I don't think it's had a terribly long run in the cinema yet. So I don't know. I guess people aren't that interested in it in it right here. Um, nobody really laughed, myself included. Most of the humor, maybe even all of it, kind of falls flat. Um, but I, I didn't think it really needed it. It wasn't. It wasn't like embarrassing um, that you weren't laughing. It, um, you know, it didn't lose my interest until near the end. I'll get more into that in the the video that's gonna have spoilers. It's got some good twists, and the story keeps you interested. The acting is really good. Uh, this was the first time I saw uh, Ray Winstone outside of Beowulf, where you know he wasn't physically there, and they didn't really use his physique. Um, I was very impressed with him. I thought he did a great job and I also thought they, they give him some uh, fairly clever dialogue, although they maybe take it just a little bit too far. It gets a little bit excessive. The mystery is pretty good and it's fairly credible throughout, I would say. It does get a tad formulaic and a little bit black and white I would say and I'm also not I'm not sure I'd say that the ending really feels like it wraps up the entire thing um, I, I don't know, all in all I think it's it's fairly enjoyable while it lasts but I'm, I am um, you know you're not like high from watching it after you leave the cinema, I'd say. If you want a movie where Gibson is, you know, taking revenge, go watch Payback or rewatch it. And if you want, like, a, a crime mystery, um, I'd maybe go with State of Play instead. Unless you cannot stand the sight of Ben Affleck, in which case... I don't know. I don't watch a lot of these. Um, I don't know. Something noir, I guess. With that said, as long as Mel Gibson keeps being this good in the movies, I hope he does keep making them until he gets too old for this shit.